And for usually about a nickel, you could attend a phonograph demonstration where the demonstrator would scream into the mouthpiece through a horn. And when he returned to the beginning and played it back, the machine would talk. You have to understand that in 1878, this was, this was really something. It's hard for us to relate to today. There isn't a single person in this room that uh, has never heard recorded sound uh, or the human voice replayed. But at this time, the only way to hear any type of recorded sound or, or, or mechanical sound was through a music box, which was basically a mechanized instrument. It wasn't an actual recording of live sound. Um, so we're going to demonstrate uh, what is purportedly the first words ever spoken into the phonograph, which is Mary Had a Little Lamb. Um, this was done on tinfoil in the period. Um, this is not tinfoil. Tinfoil is, was a combination of tin and lead. Uh, it is a material that is not available today. There, there have been uh, replicated runs made of it, uh, but it's generally under, un unavailable. This is a, a thick uh, adhesive-backed aluminum. Um, so uh, let's, let's give her a try. Hello, hello, hello. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Ha, ha, ha. Needless to say, this was not a very successful endeavor for Edison. Uh, these machines were cumbersome. They were hard to uh, keep in adjustment. They were expensive. And they were a novelty that eventually wore off. Um, after the exhibition models basically failed the market, Edison tried making smaller machines that individuals could buy. They were called parlors. You could, you could display in your parlor if you were a person of means. And, and while you're friends. Um, and shortly after Edison was out of the, uh, the phonograph business. So if you were at this exhibition in 1878, this is what you might have heard. Still wows me every time. <laughs>